SpaceX's Starship SN9 has been waiting for some flight action for a long time now. Starship SN9 was rolled out to the launch pad on 22nd of December 2020. Since then, SN9 has underwent a series of ground tests. The prototype has completed two successful cryogenic pressure tests. These tests were followed by a short static fire test. Several days later, to everyone's surprise, SpaceX conducted a triple static fire test of the three Raptor engines of Starship SN9. Two of the engines were damaged following the three static fires. These engines were successfully swapped and SN9 further completed two more static fires. So all said, SN9 has completed two cryogenic tests and a total of six static fire tests. After this extensive ground test, Starship SN9 was ready for the 10km flight test, the second high altitude flight test of a Starship prototype. The flight will be similar to Starship SN8's flight, just with a lower apogee. This time, SpaceX is going to pressurize SN9's header tank with helium. This should prevent them from losing pressure like the methane header tank did during SN8's flight. The test flight was scheduled on Tuesday, that is 26th of January. However, the test was postponed due to bad weather at the Boca Chica rocket facility. The next launch opportunity was on Wednesday. But due to some unknown reasons, SpaceX could not get the FAA approval to launch on Wednesday. So, unfortunately, SN9 had to wait a bit longer for flight action. SpaceX thus found itself with at least 24 hours of guaranteed inactivity of Starship SN9, the time that SpaceX utilized to test their latest test tank, SN7.2. SN7.2 is the third iteration of series of small test tanks that SpaceX has been building. These small test tanks are used to test the different designs and alloys that future Starships can use to reach its maximum potential. Following the test tanks SN7 and 7.1, which were both used to qualify the use of new stainless steel alloy for Starship, SN7.2 is instead focused on determining if SpaceX can begin trimming the margins of an increasingly mature technology. Currently, all the Starship prototypes use 4mm thick stainless steel rings. On the other hand, SN7.2 is built using 3mm thick stainless steel rings. The main goal for SN7.2 is to determine if the future Starship and Super Heavy booster can be made out of thinner and lighter stainless steel rings. On Wednesday, SpaceX began loading SN7.2 with liquid nitrogen for the cryogenic pressure test. This initial pressure test was successfully completed. However, we don't have information about the pressure to which SN7.2 was tested. The success of SN7.2 is a good sign for the future of Starship program as SpaceX can now think about significant mass reduction in Starship which is required for efficient orbital flights. Shifting to 3mm thick stainless steel rings can reduce the dry mass of Starship by about 5 to 10 metric tons. This is really important for an orbital class rocket as every single kilogram of mass reduced directly translates into increased payload capacity. So currently, 10 km flight test of Starship SN9 is scheduled to take place today, that is 28th of January. However, there is a secondary date for road closures on the 29th as well. If everything goes according to plan, we will see some high altitude flight action at Boca Chica pretty soon. Many other Starship prototypes will follow SN9 into the skies as SpaceX plan higher altitude flight tests in the near future. So that's all for today's video. A special thanks to Lab Padre for providing awesome live streams from Boca Chica and keeping us updated about the development of the Starship program. I have provided links to his channel in the description. Make sure you subscribe him. Also let me know what you think about the high altitude flight test of Starship SN9 in the comments. As always, if you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.